And first off, we're going to start with the mistakes I've made again. Uh, that one I've just noticed there was I've actually turned off the incubators. I'd hooked it up to these two stables, and once they got full, this all stopped, which was silly of me. So I'm just going to disconnect the automation wires for now, and that should hopefully get those spitting out more stone hatches. I should have three or four already, but uh, mistakes. I'll hook that back up once I've actually got all the stables full. Now, um, next up, we were going to get into making exosuits. So we're going to need to decide where we're going to put our exosuit dock and actually maybe start with producing an exosuit dock to start. Okay, we're going to run that off the same grid as the incubators. The reason being they're on a separate power grid and they're not even close to maxing out. Yeah, they're 540 watts. This thing's uh, not going to put it over the limit. Oh. And while we're at it, we're going to get in some tiles. I should probably clean out the rest of this. And yes, I should definitely. And there's the art dog, still kicking ass. Now, one thing about the exosuit forge is you need to have copper ore to use it. One of the reasons you don't want to uh, run out of copper ore in the early game. But once you've got enough exosuits up, you don't have to care. Uh, in terms of reed fiber, we have four. Okay, we're going to need more reed fiber. Uh, early on, I was looking over here. Oh, skill points earned. What do we got? Art dog. Yeah, improved carrying for you, pretty much. Very simple, actually. Who else can get hats now? Nope. Nope. Perfect. Actually, who cares about the hats right now? There's reed fiber up here, and I should be able to gain access to it without actually digging into any slime. Let's see, right about there. And we might want to put in a deodorizer. Now, there's been a, a lot of talk about the germs, the slime lung germs. It seems they can become quite a problem. Uh, how it works is if you're exposed to a single germ, your duplicate can get sick. You, it'll take a bit of time. They basically act like a time bomb. And then when they do get sick, they start sneezing. And if they're inside your base when they're sneezing, they can transfer the germs to the other duplicates. However, someone has tested this. Uh, I haven't actually tried it myself yet, but uh, their explanation was the sneezes only produce slime lung germs if they sneeze in polluted oxygen. If they're in clean oxygen, they can't infect other duplicates. So, so long as you keep polluted oxygen out of your base, like that piece, oh, that's carbon dioxide, never mind. As long as you keep the clean, the polluted oxygen out of your base, you should be, well, reasonably well able to take care of the problem. Uh, if you keep polluted oxygen in your base, you're just going to keep getting problems uh, as the, the your duplicates sneeze, they'll infect other duplicates. Those duplicates will later get sick, sick, sneeze again. And it just keeps this horrible loop going where all your duplicates keep getting sick over and over again. Uh, this does weaken slightly the polluted oxygen algae terrarium build, but eh, it won't be that bad, I believe. Three skill points earned? Get okay, it. Uh, beastie. Yeah, we're going straight for ecstasy training for you as well. Dog's buddy. And nope, you're going to be inside, so you're going to get duplicate care. Everyone's morale is still, well, okay, stupidly high. That's kind of nice. Uh, okay, we've dug up those bristle blossoms. So there's the great thing about reed fibers, it grows pretty fast, even in the wild. So there's five extra reed fibers just sitting there waiting for me to pick it up. Oh, mistake. That should also go as well. Uh, I'm going to want to start getting rid of this polluted water as well. I could sieve it and do all sorts of things, but it's full of food germs and I don't care that much. Uh, so I'd rather just dump it than take care of it. That's going to be keep my dog's body out of there. I don't want them going in there anymore and that can be deconstructed. Actually, we need to make a few changes here. What I want, uh, I haven't tried this before, but what I normally do is I pump this polluted water into the pit and let this pump dump it into these uh, hydroponic tiles. These hydroponic tiles, I'm just going to put reed fiber in because reed fiber soaks up an enormous amount of water and reed fiber is actually pretty useful at this point. But I might just dump the water directly from these straight into the tiles and just have an overflow system in place. Hmm. Just the mechanics of how to do that. Actually, that should just be it. So what should happen here is this bridge, this bridge here, anytime this, water, this polluted water comes down here, the bridge will try and dump it into the hydroponics tiles. If they're backed up, it'll dump it into the tank. 
This just simplifies disposal. And there, that should get rid of most of the polluted water. That won't overflow anymore, or won't have a potential to overflow. I could probably do something similar down here, but it's low enough right now that I don't care. And those do require three tiles high, so I'd actually have to plant it here. Maybe? Yeah. Actually, that might be an idea to do that now. Just get these things out of the way with. I'm being a silly anti. That's going to require my dupes to hop into polluted water all the time. How are you cold? That's 36 degree water. Stop giving me that chilly look. Anyway, how many exosuits have we got? We've produced four so far. Excellent. Um, I'm going to need a whole buttload of refined metal for this. How many refined metal do we have? Not a buttload. Uh, what have we got the most of? Ooh, we got a bunch of iron ore, actually. Let's make this all out of iron ore, because iron ore is one of the most plentiful materials on the map. We'll go with the... Uh, actually... Yeah, let's dispose of a bunch of iron ore. Uh, next up, stations. At most of checkpoint. I can never remember which direction this is supposed to point. <laughs> never. Uh, let's find out where we're going to actually place this. Uh, we can... Uh, I'd like to maybe about there. I will mean my ladder will be going straight up pretty much to the left of that. Where is that? Yeah, I don't want to go near that one. And what was it? Where you place this does determine an awful lot about what's going to go on outside your base, so I'd like to be fairly careful. Wait. Don't. I think the arrow is supposed to be facing the way out. Though I'm probably going to turn out to be wrong on that one. Hmm, dig dug too. Uh, yeah, we want to get you into hard digging straight away, just so you can actually dig something. He's our only other duplicate that can dig hard materials. Oh, and I forgot something here. Stone hatch eggs. I have six stone hatch eggs. Uh, actually, I'll wait till these pop, and then I'm going to crack the rest of the stone hatch eggs. They're slowing down my production up here, which is eating into my food. At the moment, you see there's a bunch of eggs actually in here. So these critters are all overcrowded. They're cramped, so their reproduction rates have slowed. I could be getting more eggs out of them if I actually got rid of the eggs that were in there, and therefore more calories. Also, as well as that, they're producing us an awful amount of coal, which is really nice. And we should never have any more problems with that over getting too full again. As you can see, the water is actually going down quite quickly. You will eat through your polluted water supply pretty quick. Uh, how's this doing? It's never going to get actioned while I'm doing other stuff. We'll put that as a six. Someone will take care of it. Okay, we're also going to need to fill these full of oxygen. So let's get going on the gas piping. Uh, for the time being, I'm not actually going to dedicate a full line to this. I'm just going to be very, very lazy. Um... We're going to need to split it off. Okay, that means we can fit in four exosuit docks there. And we're going to want to take a split line off this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we'll do eight on this level. So we need to do another split here. That should do. I just want to leave space here so I can split off another line when the time comes. I want it to spread equally between all the suits. Actually, let's throw in another dock. And we're also going to want to put in a mechanized airlock here. Now, you could do things with water locks and all sorts of things, but I'm just really, really lazy about that. You don't really need it, to be honest, so long as you take a few precautions. Which reminds me, one precaution we want to take is these buddy bud plants. These are supposedly very useful at fighting germs in the new system. Buddy bud plants, what they do is they, um, actually, yeah, I double checked, there's no, yeah, there's no germs in there. So buddy bud plants, they actually give off their own germs, uh, friendly germs. And those friendly germs, ooh, more root fiber, excellent. And those friendly germs basically act like 
well, it's a bit like water and gases and, t and tiles. Only one germ can exist in a tile at a time. So if you have a buddy bud plant planted somewhere, slime lung or food poisoning germs can't occupy the same space, which is kind of perfect. You can use them as a preventative measure. Now, is there any amount of gold up here? Oh, that is so much gold amalgam. There's a little bit of germs in there as well, though. Okay, I'll wait till daylight. My uh, skill points. Beastie 2. Yeah, you're going to improve your ranching skills even more. Okay, who have we got lined up today? Algae? We don't really need that anymore. Noodle arms and tire lung. Noodle arms? No, thank you. Squeamish, but a quick learner. Actually, how many dupes have I got? I've got 10. Actually, I think I'll pause at 10 dupes for now. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put in another oxygen supply. I prefer to start working on oil before we get into producing another uh, electrolyzer. Uh, twinkle toes. Oof. No, let's just grab this. Mm, I do like them though. Operate and build. We don't need the algae, but can't hurt. Okay. Uh, so we have two eggs in there. We're incubating. They're not even close to done. And how many hatch eggs do we have? Smooth hatch egg. Oh, we have a smooth hatch egg. Hmm. Tempting. Five stone hatch eggs. Okay, time to start cracking these. Now, the thing about these stone hatch eggs is the cracking s sector here is set to five. Incubators is set to six. So if one of these incubators is requesting an egg, they'll be dumped in here first. Any overflow eggs or excess will be dumped through the cracker and turned into eggs, which we can then turn into omelets. Uh, as for the smooth hatch, it is tempting to start a smooth hatch farm sometimes. It it basically converts metal at a... They'll consume, say, 100 kilos of metal and excrete 75 kilos of refined metal, which can be quite useful. But I don't want to bother making a whole dedicated hatchery to running those, especially because once I get refined metals coming in, it won't be necessary anymore, at which point I won't actually care. So it just seems like an investment of time and effort to do something that I'm only going to tear down again in a very short space of time. Now, one, two, three, yeah, that'll do. You go there, you go there, you go there, and you go there. What I'm basically trying to do is split these off in a way that, uh, bring up the best over there. I want to split them off in a way where they split equally. Uh, let me send a bit weird. But basically, this green bridge here, uh, this green bridge here, the gas will try and go out both sides. It will split 50 50. So 50% of it's going to go left, 50% of it's going to go right. So that means I can split the oxygen completely evenly between these four over here and the four I'm going to have over here. And then this splitter over here will also split it equally between these four. Well, assuming I can get that oxygen supply pumping faster, where is all my oxygen going? Oh, it's probably the dupes out here working on this. Oopsie. Is there oxygen even getting in there? Yeah, they're doing it. Okay, let's get some exosuits into these suckers. I requested 20, and we have produced 9 so far. Okay, I maybe don't need that many. I've only got 10 duplicates for now. Uh, we'll crank that down to just one more. And this is breathable, and we've got buddy bud seeds. Excellent. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to plant a couple of buddy bud plants right outside the door. Just to prevent any of those silly germs from getting in. Uh, in fact, I think I'll hang one from the ceiling as well, just to... Actually, that won't work, will it? No, it won't. Mm. Actually, I think I'm going to make a minor modification here. And we're going to move this forward one tile. I want one inside the door and one outside the door. Just to completely prevent any chance of germs getting in. Oh, and I'm also going to want to crack smooth hatch ed eggs. You need to basically crack all the three egg types they can possibly drop. Uh, if sage ha actually four, these ones can possibly drop sage hatches, but these stone hatches can potentially drop hatchlings, stone hatchlings, and smooth hatchlings. Though smooth hatchings very rare. Oh, you'll also notice the stone hatch eggs here. 
the stone hatchlings have a 66% chance of breeding true. Now you can improve that by feeding sed sedimentary rock to them. But last I tested, that doesn't breed true. And by breed true, I mean even if you get them up to 100% stone hatchling eggs, or 98 or 99, whatever the max is, any eggs they drop will automatically reset to this default. The strange thing is, is hatchlings, uh, if you change their egg, chance, egg drop chances and they drop a regular hatch egg, that hatch egg, when it hatches, will have the exact same egg chances as its parent. I have no idea why that is. It seems very strange, but mm, it, it's a nice thing to work with if you really want a lot of them very early. Now, uh, more Atmos suit ducks. And let's get down some buddy bud plants. It's like I have a blind spot for that flower pot. Yeah, yeah that should take care of that. Uh, that should hopefully keep the germs out when I go running out the door. So the oxygen's not really flowing in there as fast as I'd like. Uh, let's check the ventilation overlay. Where am I losing so much? These should all be completely jammed. Hmm. Okay, still no idea what that is, do we? Ooh! Ooh, it's a unicorn. I've never actually seen one of these in a real playthrough. Um, one second. Okay, I had a bit of a think about it, and this is going to change up the way I play quite a bit. Uh, these Kuslush geysers give off, well, the average about 2.5 kilos of water per second. But basically, I, I probably shouldn't get worse than 2 kilos of water, which means uh, that's a whole bunch of polluted water I can... Well, dump into a couple of electrolyzers. My oxygen needs for 20 duplicates are effectively solved. Indefinitely. All I need to do is make a polluted water tank, to ca catchment tank to catch it all and make sure it doesn't overheat or overload. Uh, then as well as that, I'm going to have cooling out of this. So I think, I don't really want to set up a ghetto metal refinement station, but I think I probably should just because I have the option to do it. This is going to basically change my entire focus. There's no going out with exosuits just yet. That whole plan is now on pause. Uh, oopsie. So yeah, uh, where you're going to build a water catchment tank and well, take care of this. Now, uh, I'm also going to need to get rid of the hydrogen that's accumulating and I also want to stop cracking stone hatch eggs for a bit. I want to let them accumulate back up again. Uh, what else was I going to do? Plant a reed fiber here. Okay, for the plan here I'm also going to need to, well, mine out most of this junk here. Which means I'm going to have to start dealing with bleach stone and a few other of the nastier things. I just don't want my dupes to have to go all the long way around, so might as well mine this out now. Unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with a lot of chlorine, uh, chlorine stuff. Uh, there. I'm not going to dig through to there just yet. I don't want any of that nasty stuff falling down into... Not down here. I want to find a way to actually control it first. So I'm going to end up converting this tank into chlorine storage. Yes, that's a good idea, chlorine storage. Mm. Oh, and I'm also accumulating carbon dioxide down here. That is full of slime lung germs down here, so we're not digging there. No, more slime lung germs. Yeah, I don't really have much space to work with here as for pits. I'll we'll go to gas filter. Okay, we're going to want the chlorine to go up here, and we're going to dump that chlorine into this tank. We can get rid of all this junk. Uh, this is also going to do the spit out carbon dioxide and a few other bits. Uh, and for power, conveniently enough, I haven't demolished this yet. My laziness is paying off. Okay, now we've actually mined bleachstone. That bleachstone is going to start off-gassing, so I need somewhere to store it. You want to, you want to store the bleachstone underwater. It stops it from off-gassing, because otherwise it's just going to keep spitting out uh, chlorine and eventually decay down into nothing. You can also have uses, but honestly, I haven't found anything too useful for them. You can make hand sanitizer stations in places, but we're in a rush. And I might need another compost. Hmm. I've only got two, I suppose. No, I'm not processing that much polluted water. And we're going to have you filter out chlorine. It's here somewhere. Oh, yeah, the orange is the output of whatever you're aiming to filter. 
the green will basically output everything else. So I'm going to dump all the chlorine in there, and hopefully I can keep my chlorine pit deep enough or controlled enough that uh, all the chlorine I'm going to release here won't become a problem. I may, might want to actually get rid of the hydrogen as well. Though I don't want to destroy too many of these plants. There's lots of tasty, tasty pinchy pepper nuts in there. Okay, you are going to contain consumable ore, so oxalate and bleachstone. And we're going to make you a level six because that's important. Uh, organics, do we have any slime mined yet? Zero slime mined, so it hasn't actually shown up. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Oh, skill points. Tinker Doug. Actually, you will hold off an exoseat. You mechatronics, perfect. Tinker Doug two. Now we'll get you ready for exosuit training as quickly as possible. Okay, and someone, please, someone, finish that. Oh. Oops. Yep, yeah, you gotta go. Okay, and as you'll see, we're actually filtering the chlorine out, and this should make this chlorine pit a lot easier to work with. And we have idle tubes. Oh, yeah, construct commands are not too well done, Francis. Hey, dog's buddy out. You have improved carry, improved carry two, and exosuit training. We'll still keep you on the exosuit training path. And new printables available. I am not getting a vol pup. <laughs> well, okay, it's it's ten kilos of meat, which is not the worst. Hmm, actually, might be worth it. Iron gut squeamish interior decor, narcoleptic yokel interior decorator. Actually, I just want the meat. Uh, problem with these things is they can dig through anything. So let's find Dig Dug. Do me a favor, Dig Dug. Murder that thing as quickly as possible. Thank you. And let's cube some barbecue. Forever. Uh, we actually have more than enough meat to make an awful lot of barbecue. So I think I'll dig up some more bristleberries. <laughs> and how are we doing on the egg front? Excellent. And stone hatching eggs, we still have two. Actually, let's get back to cracking those. We still only got four in there. We need another eight before we would consider it up to speed. What are you doing? Supplying fabrication materials. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I want to actually get rid of, well, I want to get rid of all the hydrogen that's up here as well. So the simplest way to get rid of that is we are going to dump it into our hydrogen burning. So I basically only want oxygen left in here. Okay, the great thing about these gas filters is they don't actually draw power when they're not being used. As in, if you don't pump gas into them, they don't actually draw power. So all I have to do is turn off that uh, gas pump, and the rest of this will sort itself out. Long commutes. Yeah, I can imagine it's a long commute. My duplicates are coming all the way from over here to get to the edge of the map. 
this is not normally how you well not normally how I can explain that better standard play would not uh, recommend you to do that to be building so far at the edge of the map this early on especially before you've got their athletics up um, but this is just the way the cookie has crumbled now I want to get the water tank up and running here sooner rather than later the longer this thing is not active the more water I'm losing uh, is that igneous yes it is igneous rock perfect actually let's make it all insulated tiles this is going to be cold polluted water that's the thing about these they give it minus 10 minus 10 polluted water which means you can use it for cooling you can use it for well lots of things which makes it really 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 useful uh, I might not want to fill all of that in just yet actually I don't care if a little bit of stuff escapes right now hmm Take across here, I can deconstruct those two. I want to let all this chlorine out of here as well. Might as well. I'll just let it all flow down through here. Why is that not doing anything yet? Okay, it's got power. Oh, gas pressure is too high, is it? Oh, no filter selected. Oopsie. Hydrogen. Okay, so all the hydrogen that's up here, we're going to dump it onto this line. Oop, it's causing a bit of minor confusion on the line. I can live with that. Mm, I should put in a gas bridge. Yeah, the way gas mechanics work in this are a little bit odd. This is causing confusion because it's trying to push out both left and right. And this right side is actually well, suction. So it's going, yeah, you can totally send it here until it gets to this point, And it goes, oh, wait, no, that's pushing. So we're just going to try and even out the gas flow here by putting in a quick bridge right there. As you can see, we're stripping out all the hydrogen out of this area. I just like to keep my gases separated. It's better for your processor as well. Um, also, I might want to put in some more airflow tiles there to help that. I want that chlorine to sink down in here. And we'll maybe do enable this for a little bit more. How do you have no power? Oh. Oh yeah, it seems my uh, dog's bodies are a little bit overworked at the moment. They'll get around to it. This is, of course, really taking away from my, my goal of getting down to the oil biome as quickly as possible, but uh, you can't really argue with how useful this is. Skill points. Dig dug. Excellent. Now, we're going to get you into a com improved construction. Dig dug spends his entire life just building and constructing, so why not? Plus, he's got a like for it. Uh, how's everyone's morale? Everyone's morale is stupidly high. Are they all on barbecue right now? I bet you they're all eating all that barbecue I just harvested. Uh, barbecue. Yep, they're probably all eating it. Yep, superb meal. Okay, so everyone's on massive amounts of morale because of the barbecue, which is also slowing them down. Barbecue is a great because it's so easy to make, but it does give a minor debuff where duplicates get minus two athletics, and I'd forgotten there's a giant ice biome up here as well. Well, giant in comparison to my last one. Uh, I might want to go up there. And actually, I can dig right above this pit so any polluted water that falls down won't really matter. Why won't you? Oh, buggery. I'm going to need to move that ladder one set of tiles to the right and left. I'm also going to need to get that chlorine out of there. I prefer that was not sticking around.
what I'm trying to do here is I want to get, I want to leave enough space here to fit in another electrolyzer setup, maybe above this and below this one. But I still want to be able to gain access up here. I'm probably overthinking this too much now. Hmm. Okay, all the chlorine's gone out of there. We can start sealing this up shortly. Actually, I might just pour that polluted water down there. There's no germs in here. So that'll give me access to this area in here. Now, almost get this finished. I'm going to put in the tank here and we're going to put in some plumbing. Mm, insulated pipes? Yes, let's go with insulated pipes. Actually, if I'm going to use this for cooling as well, I'm running a ghetto electrolyzer setup. Okay, that'll be later. First, I just want to get this sorted. Uh, I don't have a radiant piping yet. Time to get some research going. Buggery. I'm going to have to build a scaffold just to remove the scaffold I put in. Okay, well, those dupes are taking care of that. Let's disable this. I'm going to have to scrape out that chlorine at some point as well. I don't want it coming up the works. Right, we're also going to want to let that water in once this tank is finished. And I don't see any wheezes in here. But, oh, actually, that might be the edge of the tank there, or the coal biome. Yep. I totally locked some dupes up there. Hmm. Uh, quick think about this one. Flatulence, no thank you. Uh, Mart leaf seeds, whatever. Bottomless stomach, simple tastes, not worth it. Yokel, unconstructive, iron gut, uncultured, and iron gut. Yeah. Uh, hatches looking perfect. Food looking. Oh, okay, I'll dig up some more of these bristleberries. And how's our research going? I requested radiant pipes. Now, the second thing I want to do is I want to run some gold radiant pipes along the bottom of the tank. And the whole purpose of those is to actually exchange heat. What I want to try and do is get the run... Uh, metal refinery and then just put the output of the metal refinery through the bottom of this liquid tank and what that should do is dump out most of the heat into this which has quite a lot of thermal capacity and i forgot to do the one thing you should always do with these swiss cheese the bottom don't want any of that precious iron ore getting trapped at the bottom of a rather large water tank Where's chlorine? 
Perfect. Uh, that chlorine should fall down here and we'll suck it up with this fan and dump it into that tank. Having a tank of chlorine around the place is not the worst thing in the world. Okay, we're going to go with gold here. I know I'm not implementing anything just yet, but what I want to do is make this catchment tank ready and available now and start stockpiling polluted water. I have no idea what activity phase this is in, and I don't want to crack it open and dump a bunch of polluted water everywhere until I've actually got all the infrastructure in place. My duplicates don't have exosuits, and I don't want them wading around in polluted water, freezing polluted water. And I still don't see any weeds warts. I might still go up here a bit and see if I can find another couple. Two or three would definitely help. And this we could also turn off. Okay, that dumps all the chlorine in there. Perfect. How much did it end up down here? Not a lot. Not a lot. And I still haven't hooked up the anti-entropy nullifier. <laughs> Oops. Distractions, distractions. Uh, once that's, once we've got these pipes in place, I'm going to seal up this tank. And then what we're going to do is crack that open, break that open, and actually start analyzing it. Come on, dupes. Research is done. Skill point earned. Who's made it? Ticker dog. Yeah, we're going to get you into exosuit training. There's going to be a lot of exo dupes shortly. How is this taking so long? Oh, I made that out of copper ore. <laughs> I want to make this out of gold amalgam. Uh, the reason I want to make this out of gold amalgam is it has a higher overheat temperature. And I do want to dump an awful lot of heat into this tank and I don't want to accidentally uh, cause the, the pump to break. Because then I'll have to send a, a dupe into some deep diving. Okay, go up there. You, high priority, close that sucker off. running out of time on this video, and I'm going to have to fast forward a lot of things very fast to make this work. Come on, you little dupes. Get it done. You guys can get out of there, can't you? Yeah, you're just going idle. Eh, let's crack this sucker open. Let's hope she's not in the middle of an eruption. Well, yep, yeah, none of you have the mine very hard materials. <laughs> okay, we're just about ready to start that tank up. Took a whole a whole freaking hour or so but we're almost done uh we can also start getting rid of this and getting this prepared for our second set of oxygen diffusers uh, actually i'm gonna have to probably demolish all of that as well uh, let's let all this chlorine out why not okay let's analyze this and see how good we got and let's dump all this water to start yeah, it's sloppy, it's ugly, but it'll do for now. I'll clean it up later. And we'll make you a priority seven, just so you override the research labs. And uh, not that I'm actually researching anything. Oh, and I also realized something. I didn't get research dug or brains dug. Uh, I never got them into field research. <laughs> they can't actually analyze event. <laughs> okay, once they get enough experience, I'll, I'll get them into that. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll cut this short here. Well, not short. This is probably going to be a long one. Uh, I'll try and trim this down as much as possible in post-editing just because there was an awful lot of building going on there. I'm going to finish this off and then uh, we're probably going to start breaking into the exosuits there. We've got plenty of exosuits up and running. Yeah, we've got all those ones made. We've got plenty of reed fiber coming in. Hatch farms coming along nicely. We've got, well, one full hatch farm there with six, another one with six, uh, another one with two, so 12 or 14 there. And, well, one of my hatches died of old age. They must be getting to... Uh, or did I accidentally kill one of them? Nope. They just got old and died. Okay. Um, yes, finding that unicorn has definitely changed the game. Uh, I'm going to be developing a very, very large pool of polluted water over there that I probably won't be able to consume fast enough at the start. Downside is this is going to put more pressure on my clean water tank because I have no real urge to well, expand out and go down and tap oil, which is where I get plastics and a few other things so that I can make some more clean water. But I have found a second ice biome, which I can demolish for ice if I really need to. So everything's working out just about perfectly. 
Anyway, uh, apologies for getting sidetracked horribly by that uh, that unicorn I found, but uh, I think this all went quite well. <laughs>